The heart is home to many red blood cells. They come into the superior vena cava, through the atoric valve, they go into the right atrium, then into the right ventricle. After that, through the pulmonic valve, they go into the lungs for some fresh, fresh oxygen. Then, the red blood cell ventures into the left ventricle to the left atrium, and then the red blood cell exits to the atora. Arteries carry the red blood cell into capillaries where the cell takes nutrients from the small intestine. Joining the arteries again, the red blood cell travels to a new location. Here is a white blood cell. Here, the red blood cell leaves oxygen and nutrients, and in return, while it's still in the foot, takes carbon dioxide. Here is a picture of it right now. It's in a capillary when this happens. The red blood cell then flees to a vein. The veins have valves that carry the blood cells back to the heart. Back at the heart, it goes through the right atrium, then the right ventricle. After that, the cells go through the pulmonic valve. As you can see, right here, it is traveling back to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood cell releases carbon dioxide and collects oxygen once again. This process is repeated many a time. The life of the red blood cell. This happens in the blink of the eye. The red blood cell lives for 120 days and has traveled 300 miles in your body.